In the absence of anything remotely interesting happening in the MMO space, I find myself turning more and more towards games of my past, and there's one such franchise that quite literally had me in a chokehold for years. That franchise being Fantasy Star. My first experience with Fantasy Star was with PSO, or otherwise known as Fantasy Star Online. As a kid, I had this on Dreamcast, and I played it quite literally like my life depended on it. I was more addicted to PSO than YouTubers are these days for cancelling each other. It was uh, kind of a weird addiction. PSO was the first game I actually ever played online, and it was revolutionary for its time, albeit a little bit janky in places. The game was, and still is, a zone and instance-based MMO, although it's more of a shadow of an MMO these days. However, that shadow is only possible by the endlessly talented fans and community of modders who slave away to keep this game alive on a private server known as Affinia. Affinia is entirely free to download and install. It requires pretty much no technical know-how whatsoever. Uh, and I'll actually make a video for you guys in the near future if any of you need help installing it or just want me to walk you through it. I did play Affinia a few years ago after years, quite literally years, of not playing PSO and I was blown away by how true to the official launch they managed to actually keep the game. If you click here, maybe on either side, it will actually take you to that video and you'll be able to see firsthand my reaction to the server and kind of how it all played out. Needless to say, a few more years have now gone by and I've got a real craving to soak up all of that nostalgic goodness. So amongst some gameplay, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on playing PSO in the current year. As I loaded up the game, I was not ready for how goddamn good the intro soundtrack is. I mean, my word, even by today's standards, this most definitely holds up. Listen to this. That is absolutely phenomenal. After cleaning up a mess in aisle one, we are now into Affinia's new lobby system, which ultimately works as an external hub to set up parties and hang out before you enter the main game. We start our server and today we're keeping it simple and solo and we are on our way. With Affinia, you now have the options to change the loot and XP options to kind of match that of later releases of Fantasy Star Online, such as PSO2 and New Genesis. This gives you a whole host of flexibility, so you can ultimately pick what you prefer. With absolutely zero fucking around, we're straight into the teleporter, off to the forest, and my god, listen to that soundtrack. There's a recurring theme about sound in this video, which I'm sure you'll get bored of. The game absolutely reeks of nostalgic heaven, and I'm absolutely here for it. Even though in this zone I'm way over leveled, I still love going around and opening most of the boxes and the barriers, and truthfully, I think it's all down to the autism. I used to absolutely hate these things by today's standards, but do you know what? I'm actually quite happy to see them now. It's at this point in the gameplay where I'm completely lost in what I'm doing. Not in a bad way, but I'm completely in autopilot. Honestly, Randy Orton could RKO me at this point and I wouldn't even care because right now I'm reliving the best days of my childhood. There is something so satisfying about listening to this stream and the ambient music shift into the more higher paced combat music. One thing you do notice when replaying this particular level is how dark the shift is from Forest 1 to Forest 2. Forest 1 is more like Downton Abbey, and Forest 2 is kind of more like Downton Abbey, but Downton Abbey is on fire. 
It's such an awesome attention to detail and it's really, really great scene setting. The enemies here are very clearly supposed to trouble you in the early game and nothing says that better than a dark cloud of fuck you right above you. Sometimes you really do just have to stop in certain areas to take in what's happening around you as the visual storytelling with what limited resources Sega had all those years ago is really admirable. We shoot some more boxes like they're going out of fashion and then we take a look into a hallway that greets us with instant PTSD because you can then recall how many times this guy has punched you in the face and genuinely meant it. These nodes are a fantastic way of allowing you to take in what little story is given to you in your own time and your own manner. It really helps set the scene for what's going on around you on the world of Ragol, and I absolutely love that. PSO in a great way really lets you feel like you are kind of alone and helpless in a majority of its levels. The ambient music, whilst calming, it does have a great way of making you feel empty and abandoned, and that's super impressive to be able to portray that with what little resources you had, especially, you gotta bear in mind this game launched in December 2000. One thing I like about PSO is you aren't immediately the savior of the universe or descended royalty. You're a hunter on a humble mission to earn some money, discover some secrets of an unknown planet, fuck some bitch Jumping through this teleporter at a low level always used to scare me shitless as I know what horrors awaited on the other side. Seriously, I can hear that buzzing in my sleep. It's fucking terrifying. With those enemies polished off, it's onto the final stretch of nasties until we reach the climax of this adventure, my friends, and yes, you guessed it. It's dragon time, baby. I know I've raved about the soundtrack thus far, and you probably hate me for it, but fuck you, listen to this, because it's beautiful, you uncultured swines. With the dragon proving no challenge whatsoever at this level, I was free to enjoy taking in the boss arena and my surroundings at my own pace. Although this underground attack, however, did still put my back out more than a cheap hooker, but we won't talk about that. With the last few shots, the dragon is down and I do my best to not stand underneath him and ultimately die. With that said, that does bring us to the end of the forest level and my god, I'm just happy to be here. If you guys did enjoy this sort of video and looking back at a rough but beautiful PSO, then please do let me know as I do plan to make more of these videos in the future, perhaps for every level in the game. So ultimately, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one.